Okay, guys and girls, today we're going to talk about place value. And we're going to look at place value in two systems, base 5 system and base 10 system. All right. Have you ever wondered why 10 seems to be such a magic number? If there are 10 dimes and a dollar, and there are 10 tens and a hundred, well, that's because our place value system is based on base 10. I'm going to show you what you mean. It's based on the number 10. So when we count, our digits go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, right, is a 1 and a 0. We'll go back. I'm just going to put a 0 here, all right, for 10. And then when we go up to 11, we're recycling all these digits that we've already used. Okay? And if we want to show the number, let's say 78. Right. And we're going to show it in dimes and pennies because um, we're base 10. So we're going to use a dime, which is worth 10, and pennies, which are worth 1. All right. So 8 is 8 pennies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? All right. I'm going to put a 1 on each of those for pennies. All right. And 7 is 7 dimes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 7 isn't really a 7, it's a 70, right? 78. Ten, 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 ten. Ten. So what the 7 means is 7 tens, and this 8 means 8 ones. All right, now we're going to look at place value in base 5. Okay, so this is a different world. So in this world, dimes don't exist, all right, because 10 isn't a magic number. 5 is a magic number. So we're going to look at nickels, all right, because nickels are worth five, and five is a magic number. Okay? So when we count, we're going to be able to use one, two, three, four, all right? And we're not going to be able to have a five, just like how we couldn't have a ten, a one, and a zero in base ten. We're going to be able to have a zero, right? Five digits. One, two, three, four, five. All right? So if we wanted to do... 78 in base 5. All right. We can't use the number 7 and we can't use the number 8. All right, so let's count by 5s. I'm going to be putting nickels up here. We're going to go to 78. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Right? Those are our 5s and then we need some 1s. You see all the way over to the end? Yeah. So we were at 75, 76, 77, 78. So those are all ones and these are all fives. All right. So our places for base 10 are ones, tens, and hundreds, right? And 100 is 10 tens, all right? And then we go up to 1,000, which is 10 hundreds. So in base 5, it's going to be ones, fives, and then five fives, which are 25s, right? 25s, instead of 100s. So I'm going to look and I have three ones, right? How many 25s do I have? Groups of 25. So these are all with fives. Well, I see one here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right? There's a group of five fives. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group of five fives. And there's another group of five fives. One, two, three, four, five. So I have three twenty fives, right? And but I don't have any fives left by themselves. So this is how I would write 78 in base five. Let's try a smaller number. Let's look at. Let's look at 25, and I can use the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 to write this, okay? So let's count it out in nickels. Actually, let's not do 25. That's going to be boring. Let's do 27. All right, let's count it out in nickels. Oh, that one's going to be boring, too. Let's do 17. <laughs> okay, now we're going to count it out in nickels. All right, so 5, 10, 
15, 16, 17. So these are fives and these are ones. All right. So then when I'm writing my number, see so if you can take a second and guess how I would write 17 in base five. Think about how many fives there are and how many ones there are in 17. Okay, yeah, there are three fives and two ones. So I would write it like this. Five is the magic number, so we're looking for groups of five. All right, we're gonna do another one of them. You're gonna try it by yourself, and then we're gonna check our answers together. All right, so what if we were doing Do 23. So remember to count it out in fives. All right. Okay, so the way we would write that in base five is, and the reason why, let's count by fives, this means there are four groups of five, right? Fives and three ones. So let's check and see if that's true. So four fives, five, 10, 15, 20, and three ones, 21, 22, 23. All right, do you remember when I said 27 is going to be boring? Let's go back and look at why, all right? So if I have, Twenty-seven. All right. Then, how many fives are there in twenty-seven? Okay, there are five fives, right? Five. Whoops. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So those are our fives. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Two ones left over five fives and two ones left over. And do you remember how we can only write the numbers one, two, three, four, and zero? So we need another place. All right, so when we draw this, it would look like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, right? Those are my two ones over here, my pennies, these are my nickels. So how many ones do I have? We've got my two ones. Right? Now, this is the one spot. This is the five spot. This is the spot for five fives. Just like in base 10, it would be the spot for 10 tens, 100. But in base five, five's the magic number. It's the spot for five fives, which is 25. So how many groups of 25 do I have? I have one group of 25. And then how many fives are left over by themselves? There are none left over, right, that aren't in a group because these guys are ones. So that's what 27 would look like in base five. Let's do another one where you're going to have to use the 25's place. Let's do, ooh, let's do 38. You try it. Okay, so if you're stuck for where to start, you should start by counting it out in fives because that's how base five works. Five is the magic number, so let's do that together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Those are my ones that are left over. Okay, so here are my three places. I've got my ones, my fives, my five fives, my 25s. All right. Hmm. So my ones, I have three ones. How many 25s do I have? 
and one group of 25. It's right here. That's those five fives, right? So that's one, one group of five fives. And then I have two fives that are left over. Okay. So my think about it questions for you for the end of this are, okay, so we've learned about these three places. Think about in base 10, all right, we have our ones, our tens, our 10 tens, which is our 100s, and then our 10 100s, which is our 1000s, all right? In base five, we know we have our ones, our fives, our 25s. What would this place be that's over here? What would that be and why? Okay. Then when you're done thinking about that, think about what the places would be in base three, okay? If we could only write the numbers zero, one, and two. Mm -hmm. All right, next time we get together, we're gonna to talk about adding in base five. All right, I'd love to hear what you have to think about it in class.